Each spring, some of the world's best hurdlers descend on Philadelphia for the annual Penn Relays. But on Sundays in the fall, the hurdle has leapt off the track and onto the gridiron. He gets the first down, but then the hurdle, and then he's off to the races. That is an amazing individual effort by Vernon Davis. And then it's go, go, gadget legs over the top. Everybody has the ability to jump super high. Or else you probably wouldn't even be in the NFL, but those instincts, man, to do it, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, without even thinking, like, like it's just taking your next step. That's what makes you a great hurdle. You don't ever really teach a guy. That's not something that you coach. I think certain guys, they just kind of have had to feel how to control their body and, and really probably do that since they were younger kids. That is the NFL equivalent of being dunked on, <laughs> being jumped over. Brent Selleck goes full Ronaldo Nehemiah. Ronaldo Nehemiah was a world champion hurdler in the 1970s and 80s. Over the last 12 months, Nehemiah has garnered the collegiate and American record and lowered the world mark twice. Nehemiah's speed and athleticism caught the eye of the ever-progressive Bill Walsh, who convinced him to jump to the NFL and sign with the 49ers in 1982. He can make people miss. So if you get the man with a tremendous speed, as he has, that can make the first defender miss him, well, then all hell breaks loose. But at some point, I believe he'll be a real force in the National Football League. Nehemiah played three years with the 49ers, winning the Super Bowl in 1984. But there's one feat the former hurdler never did. As good of a hurdler as I was, I never even thought about hurdling anybody because when I was playing, they tackled. Complete to Nehemiah. He gets hammered. Today, guys don't wrap up. Most of the guys are darting down like a torpedo going into the guy's ankles. And he jumped over him. He hurdled him. And so everybody's hurdling these guys. I was taught that when you leave the ground, that's always very risky, which it is. But good runners are always looking for ways, whatever way they can to get around the defense. Recent NFL rule changes have brought new popularity to the hurdle. Now you have no choice but to jump over them because you're sitting there, they're diving at your legs, and a lot of times their head's down so they can't see anything. You're setting yourself up to get jumped over. He jumped over a tackler and never broke stride. Not everyone hurdles through the air with the greatest of ease. Once you leave your feet, what happens next is out of your control. If you want to set yourself to getting flipped over, uh, more power to you. Bad things can happen when you try and jump a defender. Lamar Jackson complete over the middle. Mark Andrews has it, hurdles a man, but fumbles the ball into the hands of Nick Vigil. And that could be the end of the hurdle for the Ravens tight end. Despite the occasional mishap, the hurdle isn't going anywhere. In fact, the move is being embraced by some of the league's biggest stars. I think Todd's feel for when people go low on him, it's just kind of a reactionary deal. I don't ever think it's something that's predetermined. Todd Gurley goes high hurdles on Bashad Breeland. I've seen Saquon do it literally nowhere to go but up and go straight up in hurdles. Like, it's crazy. Todd Gurley and Saquon Barkley may make the medal stand. But it's the Cowboys' Ezekiel Elliott who might take home the gold as the NFL's best hurdler. I haven't really seen anybody do it better than Zeke because he does it all the time, and it always seems to work. In high school, state champion in the hurdles, and he loves that move. Zeke says if these guys are going to go low, you know, I have to be able to show them that I'm going to go over the top of them by hurdling them. That play in Philadelphia, one of the greatest runs I've ever seen in my life. That was Ezekiel Elliott hurdling his way downfield at his athletic best. 
in perfect form. We've seen other guys hurdle, but this is the best form we've seen. It's actually weird. I was thinking this week, like, man, I haven't heard hurdle someone in a while. You know, about time I get one. Was that the best leap that you've had in your career? I don't know. I'm leaving that to you guys to uh, decide. Players are always trying to elevate their games, but they need to remember the words of Isaac Newton: "Everything that goes up must come down." If they're lucky, it just might be in the end zone. And he leaps into the end zone for the touchdown. They'll be showing that play on highlights all day long.